just sitting everywhere. One more Bebop in Rocksteady. And uh, nope, there's a few of these here at Atari. I'm the, I'm, I might get one of these. I'm gonna hang on to it for a while. Walk around with it and see if I want it. But looks like they did restock. Tons of metalheads again. All right, let's go over here. Tristan's telling me to... Oh, look who it is. The NECA man. How's it going? How you doing? I got some over here. What's that? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna walk around and see if I want it or not. This is cool. You, you don't mind if I just look at this here? This is cool. And there's another one with that embargo. Yeah, first time in this one. Do you know the prices on these by any chance? Eighty bucks, right? I think it's eighty dollars. Maybe. Maybe, huh? Yeah, she flies off the shelves. Some of it doesn't. Some of it, like I said, Richard Simmons has been there for months. Well, Tristan bought a Richard Simmons, so he's. Uh, 70 bucks. And the new two packs. New two packs right here. <clears throat> well, this is actually cheaper. Seven sixty nine ninety nine for this one here. There you go. There's Ace the Duck in here. All these. <laughs> Fresh box. Oh, we got Wolfman. More? No, that's all my flyers, it looks like. Turtles in there. Wow. That's no a turtles. lot of What's up guys? So this is later in the day after you guys watching that hunt video where I went to Target, talking to the um, NECA rep and a real cool guy. I always run into this guy at my local Target. He's a really, really nice uh, nice man. And um, you saw I was, I was questioning whether to pick up the Bronx. I ended up passing for now. Eventually I'll get him down the line because I still need the Demona. Uh, but it was cool to see all the all the the, the new stocks of the TMNT Ace and uh, uh, Scumbag. It was a Scumbag? Ace and Antrax, I think, yeah, I think I got that right. Ace the Duck, Mutagen Man, but he had like stacks of them. So I'm wondering if those are gonna be sitting like the previous two packs, which are now officially retired because the Channel 6 is retired, the original Muckman's retired and several two packs are retired, the Frogs, all those got retired. Uh, but the only thing I did pick up today was the Pennywise plush by Kid Robot. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys know I'm a big Pennywise fan, have been for a long time, since the 90s, since the original 1990 miniseries aired. I have it, I still have it on VHS. I recorded it when it aired. Um, but the cool thing about this, this is a different type of plushie. It's plastic. So you have some plastic for the head sculpt, fluff and all that for the body, the uh, the hands are actually plastic too. Same with the boots. So th I ha that's why I had to get this because it's a completely different type of plushie made by Kid Robot. And you guys know they're making a, a prequel miniseries on HBO Max. So I'm really hyped for that. I'm gonna be going to WonderCon this Sunday. So if you guys are there, that's in Anaheim, California, try to find me, say what's up. I'll be recording there. So I'll be at WonderCon. Uh, I think Tristan's going with me as well. Also, I just saw the reviews for the morbius film it's like fluctuating between like 15 to 27 percent i knew from the get-go this movie was not probably going to be well received i still want to watch it just to see how bad it is kind of feel bad for jared leto the guy just can't make it in a comic book movie but um yeah so that's my hunt video for today if you guys have saw seen anything in your local toy stores or, or or trying to look for something let me know in the comments down below what you're hunting for if you're gonna watch the morbius movie if you guys are gonna go to WonderCon, let me know we'll see you soon later